Welcome to this advanced 2025 Google Earth Engine tutorial. In this video, we'll prepare a cloud-free, 12-band Sentinel-2 mosaic for the Addis Ababa region and export it for further analysis. Let's get started. Step 1, Define AOI and Center Map. First, we define our area of interest, Addis Ababa, and center the map on it. This helps us limit processing to only the area we need and makes visualization easier. Step 2, Define Date Range. Next, we define our date range, January 1st to January 31st, 2024. This is the time period from which we want to collect imagery for our mosaic. Step 3, Load Sentinel, 2 and Cloud Probability Collections. We now load two important datasets. The first is the Sentinel, 2 Surface Reflectance Collection. The second is the Sentinel, 2 Cloud Probability Collection, which contains per pixel cloud scores. We apply the same date range and region filters to both collections. Step 4. Join the two collections. To perform cloud masking effectively, we need to combine these two datasets. We do this using the ee join.savefirst function. This links each image in the surface reflectance collection with its corresponding cloud probability image using their system index. Step 5. Define desired bands. We define a list of the 12 valid Sentinel, 2 bands we want to keep. This excludes band 10, which is not included in the surface reflectance product. Step 6. Mask clouds using cloud probability. Now we define our cloud masking function. This function extracts the cloud probability band and masks all pixels where the cloud score is 30% or higher. Then, it selects only the desired 12 bands and retains the original timestamp. Step 7. Apply cloud masking. We apply the cloud masking function to the joined image collection. The result is a clean, cloud-free image collection for the month of January 2024. Step 8. Create a median composite. To generate a representative image for the entire period, we take the median value of each pixel across all cloud-free images. This helps to reduce noise and create a more consistent mosaic. We define visualization parameters for true color display using bands 4, 3, and 2. We also apply a gamma correction for better contrast. Then, we add the mosaic to the map, clipped to our AOI. Step 10. Export the image. Finally, we prepare the image for export. We clip it to the AOI, convert it to float, and export it to Google Drive. We specify the file name, folder, scale of 10 meters, and use the EPSG 4326 projection. This creates a ready-to-use 12-band composite for your further classification, analysis, or deep learning models. That's it. You've successfully prepared and exported a cloud-free, 12-band Sentinel-2 image mosaic using Google Earth Engine. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.